Good morning. Welcome to my channel. It's Cheryl. Hi, doggy. Black doggy. On a leash. <clears throat> I don't think I can make a video without passing a dog around here. Well, there's a man with a brown sack. Looks like a fast food sack. So there, it's more than just dogs around here. Hi, welcome to my well-rounded life. It is 1241 on Saturday and I'm headed toward to Walmart to pick up my grocery order. I set it for between um, one and two o'clock pickup and uh, <clears throat> they usually get in touch with me between quarter and 10 of the hour. Now watch, I'm on the ball, I'm getting there, and they'll probably be late. Whatever, it doesn't matter, I got all day. I can find something to do while I wait for them. But if I do get the message from them while I'm recording this, I'll have to stop it because I need to check in with them so that they know um, how far away I am, which is kind of freaky. Oh, I should have gone. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Are you guys tired of going this way with me? Because this is the way to go. I notice when I watch Gina on Gina Pearson when she's driving to work, I'm like, oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, there's the church. You can see the building before she pulls into the parking lot. The church is where she works. And it's like, I think she said a six minute drive. And literally, she talks all the way to work. And then <clears throat> she sits in the car to finish her thought. And then that's it. So I can't do that to you today. I'm going all the way to Walmart. That'll be too long. I think it's like seven minutes longer than... Um, where the Weight Watchers Center is. Red light. So, let's talk about this week. I had a crappy eating week. My Monday through Friday, I got one blue dot and that was yesterday. That's it. I had a blue dot on Monday and then I ruined it with a bunch of pistachio nuts just before bed. And uh, Tuesday I blew it, Wednesday and Thursday I was really close, but I blew it just by one thing, potato chips. That's what it was. Terrible. Middleworths, barbecue. Who was beeping at what? I just had um, a, a, not a good eating week at all. I, I'm an emotional wreck, basically. Uh, truth be told, it has nothing to do with the holidays. It's just stuff that's going on in my personal life that I don't want to talk about because I don't, I don't really have anything to say. It's, it's like telling a story that doesn't have an ending. You might as well wait until you have an ending to the story before you try to explain the whole thing. So that's where I'm at right now. And, um, I think I'm getting uh, my, the best, I'm letting my emotions get to me in the way that it always does, and that's with food. Now, over the last six months or so since I've been on Weight Watchers, I've been able to combat a lot of that, uh, a lot of the eating issues that I've had due to my emotions. Uh, but this is particularly uh, personal and close to me, so it's harder. I think it's more emotional. And having all of this occurring right now with the holidays on top of it all is just causing an awful lot of stress. So I think that's what it is. It's stress eating. And I, and I know I'm doing it because it's like, why are you eating these potato chips? And then my other side says, because I need them right now. And I'm like, okay. So very, very reluctantly, I stood on the scale today and... When I stepped off, I grabbed my camera because I have it ready and I took a picture of it. And then I looked it up, I, I pulled up my pictures and I looked up last week's and I'm like, they're not gonna believe me for whatever reason. So I 
then it went away again. So I, uh, the number on the scale, it, it only stays on there for so long that it goes away. So then I stood on it again and the same number came up, but this time I had my camera ready for video. So I took a little recording of it. And um, so here's that. But also I want you to notice while you're watching this little video, um, notice Gracie barking. I didn't notice it at the time that I was recording it showing the exact same thing as last week 232.2 I guess that's good all right so it was 2322 232.2 that's exactly what I was last Saturday so um, I didn't do any major damage to my body this week however I still could because you know, what you ate yesterday doesn't show up as fat on the scale today. You know what I mean? It takes a while for you to gain weight from what you ate. And I did have kind of a busy week, so maybe my activity helped to keep some things down. Um, and I didn't go over grossly every day. I did have burgers and fries on Tuesday. That's a weekend food. And I shouldn't have had it on Tuesday, but I did. And it was very satisfying and like uh, like homey and comforting. And it's like, it was like a warm hug. It was like just exactly what I needed at the time because of what's happening these days. So with that said, I'm exactly the same as last week. And I was surprised, even though I don't feel, I don't feel like I gained weight, my clothes feel the same. Do not tell me, oh no, a train, why? And it's just now going down, but the train is sitting right there. Oh, here he comes. Can you hear it? Oh, the guy in front of me is turning around. He's like, no, no. I always leave myself enough room uh, from the car in front of me to turn around if I need to. So we'll just stop right here and wait. So anyway, there's my weight. It's the same. Thank God. It's like I got a do-over. All right, we'll try to do better. Um, so there's that. Oh, Gracie Lou, did you hear her barking? She was in the kitchen. At first, when I after I was done recording that little bit, I started yelling at her to stop barking. Um, because I thought she was barking at something outside, but then I realized she was calling for me from the kitchen because she was stuck in the kitchen on the red rug. There's two rugs in the kitchen, one in front of the sink and then a, a beige one. Oh, the train's done, the thing's going up. There's a beige rug in front of the front door and she sometimes gets stuck on one of those two rugs. It happens once in a while, she gets scared. I don't know what the deal is. So I got my camera out and um, she wasn't barking. Uh, once I got close, like to the garbage can with the camera, she stopped barking. So here's that video. Hey, Lou, what is your problem? Come here. What's the matter? Why are you barking? Are you stuck in the kitchen again? Are you stuck on the rug? Yeah, well, come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, don't be scared. Gracie, what's the matter? Don't you wanna come here with mommy? Come here, come to mommy, come here. Come here, baby, it's okay. What's the matter? Come on, you can do it, it's just a corner. You can turn a corner. Hi, Luna. Luna can do it, see? Come on, Gracie, let's go. Okay, there you go. Good girl, you did it. You got around the corner. Oh, why are you so weird? Is she not ridiculous? Sometimes that happens. But she'll, she will get stuck there and you can hear her. First she gets mad, like frustrated, and she sort of like growls. But if you ignore her, then the growling turns into barking. Hey, mommy, <laughs> you know, and she gets angry and then you just have to come to her and coax her to come out. Um, if she gets stuck on the rug, it's in front of the door. Like maybe we put a bag of garbage there. 
by the corner. So she would have to turn the corner and go around that bag of garbage or a little box. We put a box there because we're gonna get rid of it, an old cardboard box, whatever. She, she'll go over there to get a drink and then she can't come back. She's like, oh my God, there's a box. It kind of reminds me of that movie, A Bug's Life, where the, um, the uh, ants are walking along and all of a sudden a leaf falls right under their path and the one behind the leaf is like, I'm lost. That's what it makes me think of when Gracie um, can't get around a bag of garbage or something there, like she lost her way. So anyway, I had to go rescue her. And uh, Lusa, Lusa, Lu, Luna thought it was a fun time. There's a car just like mine, hi. There's a lot of cars just like mine around here. I never even noticed these things until I got one. Now they're everywhere. All right, so I'm sitting at the red light between the Coliseum and McDonald's. I've only ever been to this McDonald's a handful of times, and the last two or three times I've been there, it was for one of those Southwest. Your order is ready. Check in when you're on your way. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta check in. All right, I'm all checked in and ready to go. It's 12.52. So, that's that for that. My glasses need to be cleaned. They seem dusty. <sighs> nope. That didn't help. Red light. So, where were we? Gracie, A Bug's Life. Oh, McDonald's. Southwest salads. Those Southwest, yeah, salads. They're pretty good. And I don't get them with the dressing because it's has cilantro in it and I just I'm not a cilantro fan so I just bring it home it's only a few points and then I put my own dressing in it all right right up here is red lobster right around the corner from my church and that's where we're going tomorrow after church red lobster because tomorrow is my mother's 75th birthday yep 75 hi red lobster see you tomorrow and if you give her a choice of any place to go in the world, she's going to say Red Lobster. She likes to get like the seafood feast or whatever it is with all the different gross things. I don't eat that kind of seafood, um, but she loves it. I go for the biscuits and then I'll get like chicken tacos. So here's the plan for tomorrow. Chrissy's working overnight, so she'll get home and take a little nap. And then we have to leave the house early enough to pick my mother up because I said you don't need to drive on your birthday it'll be cold we'll just pick you up so we're gonna pick her up and get her to church and I oh I just realized I can't tell you all of the plans because hello it's my turn not yours because uh, my mother might watch this sometimes she watches my videos you know so I just can't say everything and I'll, I'll explain the day in my next vlog about how it all worked out. So after church, we'll do Red Lobster. I've invited a couple people, a friend of mine named Diane, and I invited my husband. Um, I know Diane's coming, but I have to double check with my husband. Now my brother and his wife go to our church as well. Um, and so they're coming. Um, and let me see, Chrissy, yay, she took the day off like two months ago. I said, make sure you have the ninth off. So, that it'll be nice. And then we have to go home from there and take care of the dogs because we will have been gone long enough. Church and dinner out is just enough time. And then we're going to, I asked her what she wanted to do for the rest of the day because I was like, I can't just drop you off after dinner and say, enjoy the rest of your day, bye. You know, I said, you need to come over to the house and spend the night. You know, what do you want to do for the rest of the day? She said, I want to go see the Grinch movie. So I think we're going to the 3.30 Grinch. Church is over at 12. That'll give us three and a half hours to have lunch, go home, take care of the dogs, rest a little bit, and get to the movies. It's about two hours long, I think, like an hour and 46 minutes or something, if I remember correctly. I don't know. And then we'll come home and have dinner. What we'll have, I don't know. I'm not planning anything. My mother, she said she'll probably have leftovers because she always has leftovers. If you're not aware, I know I mentioned it before, she had a, um, a gastric sleeve done when she was 70. So she can't eat 
a normal stomach size amount of food like the rest of us can. She eats a lot less and so if she, if she buys a chef salad at a restaurant, that's three or four meals right there, you know. So she's always taking food home for every time she goes out to eat. So, which is good because she gets more for her money that way. So I don't know what Chrissy and I will have for dinner tomorrow, just whatever's. And my mother will have leftovers. And then we don't plan on going out anymore, but we've got a movie planned for the evening with Chips and Dip. Chips and Dip is her ultimate favorite snack. And uh, the dip is our French onion dip. And if you go to my playlist, playlist that says something like recipe shares or something like that, I can't remember offhand, sorry. Uh, you'll find the recipe for my family's um, French onion dip, which is the best in the world. And we're gonna make that and have with chips. We're gonna have three different kinds of chips. My mother loves her kind, I love mine, Chrissy loves hers. And that's the beauty of being able to customize a snack like that. And we were gonna just find some kind of Christmassy thing on TV to watch, you know. But last week, I like to go through the, the guide on TV. I have Fios and I have my very first ever DVR. Best thing I ever, ever ordered. And um, like, I don't think I'll ever be without a DVR again. Hopefully not. Anyway, um, I was going through and looking at things in the future. I like to do that. I like to look things up like on AMC or Turner Classic Movies, see what's coming on the next couple weeks. If there's something that looks interesting, then I hit record. And the, the two movies, um, Christmas in Connecticut, the original with Barbara Stanwyck and then the, um, the remake with, I can't remember her name, but Chris Christopherson's in it. I think it's like from the 70s or early 80s. And my mother loves that one the most. But I had last week, I saw that they were coming on, so I hit record. I don't remember when they were going to come on, um, but I already have them recorded on my DVR. So my mother was saying, oh, when I was saying, we'll just find something Christmassy to watch on TV, because she loves all those Christmas movies. She's like, oh, I just wish for once I could finally watch my favorite movie, that Christmas in Connecticut. I said, which one? the original or the remake she said the remake I'm like got you covered so now I know why I found it and recorded it because it would be meant for my mother for her birthday so she gets her red lobster and she gets her chips and dip and she gets her Christmas in Connecticut and we'll give her gifts after we get her home from dinner there's a car with a big old tree strapped to the top of it. We are just about to Weight Watchers. And I was going to say we're only eight minutes in, but that's since I came back from checking into Walmart. So I guess I'll just keep talking. So that's what our plans are. Then she'll sleep over and I'll take her home whenever on Monday. Bye, Christmas tree. That's a nice size one. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three, green. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kia. There's the Kia place. Alrighty. So, my husband had um, step step assist risers put on the outside of his truck. Oh, I just got saw another message, but I don't know what it is. Um, on his new truck that he got last week. And I have yet to see them, but I'm anxious to give them a try. Because with his trucks, the last truck and this truck, I always have to use a um, step stool. And I bring mine out, the little flat one that I have, chilies. I love chilies. I love chilies. I don't go there very often, but when I do, I pretty much just want to get the chicken fajitas. That's just about the only thing I order. I think if I went there more often, 
sorry, low battery because I didn't plug it in this morning. Um, if I went to Chili's more often, I would be wanting to try other things on the menu, but it's so long between visits that I'm like craving the chicken fajitas. So it's all I ever get. And here's Longhorn. I was there last week with my husband for lunch when he um, picked me up to show me his new truck. We came down here for Longhorn. So that's probably his favorite place and it's right across from my favorite place and then up here we have Kohl's I like I never go to Kohl's I should oh that car has reindeer antlers on either side of the car I love when they do that so here's Kohl's I never really go I should I have a coupon for uh, $10 Kohl's cash but you know this time of year when you don't really know what to get people it's good to like take that coupon because it's ten dollars off anything ten dollars or more and I already know there's some things on my mother's Christmas list that she'd like to get and I could get them ten dollars off you know so it's good to uh, clip coupons for stores you don't go to and go to them this time of year because they have more than just their normal stuff you know they've got all those gifty things all over the place and it really helps you pick a nice gift when you don't know what to get. Now we, Chrissy, my mother and I, we make lists and we share them with each other. This is what I would like, wish lists for Christmas. And we always do that and it really helps out. And then when you think of something else, you add it to your list and you send it again. Here's my updated list. <laughs> I've already got some things for my mother and Chrissy and my husband but that's as far as I've gotten well they're really the only ones that I buy for um, that's about it my bonus granddaughter called me last night um, saying that she's not gonna be able to go home for Christmas and home is North Carolina where her mother and my son live and um, my grandson her little brother and her big brother Christopher and she says, uh, it's just too much money. I'm not able to do it because I told her if you can't go home, you're more than welcome to come and spend Christmas with me. Um, you could spend Christmas Eve here with Chrissy and I. My mother always spends Christmas Eve with us and have a wonderful Christmas morning with us. We love our Christmas mornings. I just look forward to them so much. And then we'll just have a nice meal, and, you know, and she can go whenever she wants. So she called to, I guess, um, confirm <laughs> for Christmas reservations with this, which is nice because now I have something more to look forward to. So I'll get her a little something in front of the tree, maybe a stocking filled with stuff. That'll be nice. I am at Walmart now, trying to get through this parking lot. The car says it's 37 degrees out. I don't even have the heat on. I haven't even turned it on yet. I'm not even cold. Probably be probably because I'm actually in my winter coat today. Oh, crap. I forgot to take the um, cart out of my trunk. I meant to do that before I got in the car. So I'll do that as soon as I get here and park. Oh, oh my. Seems to be a little busy over here in the orange section. I'm blabbering nonsense now, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go. There's a lot of vehicles here. I just hope they're all here for food. Oh, geez. You're here. Which spot are you in? Jeepers, I just pulled up and it knows I'm here. All right, I gotta go. Bye-bye. Hello. I picked up the groceries at Walmart and I'm just leaving Wise Markets. I had to come and pick up the cake and some other things that Walmart doesn't carry and a couple of things that Walmart didn't have that I had ordered. I was really surprised at the amount of things they did not have. They didn't have that spice latte lipstick anymore. Again, I mean, they didn't have it the last time I tried to get it, but I really think that that's probably more of a seasonal color. Spice latte, you know, I probably won't see it again, but then they should take it off their website if they're not going to carry it anymore. Um, 
whole bunch of things. I mean, they didn't even have Morton's Light Salt. So I had to pick that up here. They didn't have my Joseph's Pitas, which I really wanted this week for pizza. Um, Cause I'm kind of in a pizza mood. Not like I need Pizza Hut pizza, but just it sure would be nice to have pizza for dinner this week. And I can make it really quick with the Joseph Pitas that are only one point. And then I put tomato sauce on it with some seasonings, which is zero points. And then you use zero point cheese. And then I use one point's worth of the turkey pepperonis between two pizzas. And I've got two pizzas for three points. And that's a meal. That's a meal. So, um, I picked up the pitas there. Here, I mean, because they didn't have it. And, and there was like several things. It was like eight things they didn't have. But I only picked up two of them, three of them, that were really important. One of them was the kind of chips that Chrissy wanted for a chips and dip tomorrow night. So everybody should have their chips. And I picked up another block of cream cheese because I don't think the two I got was enough. I don't know if my mother wants to be sent home with leftovers on Monday. I know I don't want any. I'll just have some Sunday night and be done with it. I was talking to the cashier uh, at the supermarket just now and uh, she, she said that the Grinch movie was simply adorable. She took her nieces to go see it and um, they just loved it. She loved it. She said it was really great. She's like, your mom's going to love it. So I need heat. That's what I need because my face feels like it's going to fall off. So I need me some heat now. I was too warm once I left Walmart. I had to turn it off. Yellow. That's always here. It's a yellow beetle with black stripes. So now I'm on the way to another place to pick something up for my mother that I can't mention right now because she has ears. So let me think. Did I do anything else? No, I've just been going there. I do have to pee. I considered walking all the way to the other side of the grocery store and leaving my cart before I checked out. Leaving my cart and running into the ladies room, but I was like, nah. So then I'm out here in the cold, struggling to put my groceries in the back seat, and I'm like, gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. But I still have one more stop to make, so we're just gonna have to squeeze and bear it. Yep. Now when I get home and put everything away, and hopefully do a dollar, um, not a Dollar Tree haul, a grocery haul, and then put everything away. I think I'm going to run back out again to the Dollar Tree, maybe get a couple balloons. Um, I didn't want to do that now because, because I just didn't. Um, I may pick something up for my lunch. I'm not sure what yet. I don't know what I'm really in the mood for. And then come home with lunch and balloons. But then I'll be hungry if I'm not already. I ate just like a half hour before I left the house. Nice big turkey sandwich. Ooh, some kind of sirens. Coppers. The coppers. There they go. There they go. Alright, don't forget to stop. Don't forget to stop. Don't forget to stop. Don't forget to stop. I need to stop right up here and I'm afraid I'm going to forget. So this is going to be a pretty long vlog. Of course, oh, I almost forgot to stop. I took one look at it. I was like, oh yeah. Alrighty, here we are. Of course, I said I'm not going to tell you where I'm going because I don't want my mother to know, but then I just drove right past it and showed you in the car. So anyway. I gotta go inside now. Hopefully it's warmer in there than it is outside here. Off, off. Hi. I got everything home. It took three trips to get everything in the house with the cake and that big thing of toilet paper and the other present I got her and all the food. Ugh. I am starving and exhausted. I know you're turning but I don't trust you. Okay, now I can go. I don't trust that. So, what's a birthday without balloons, I thought. I'm cold. The car 
are still warm. So I'm gonna run to the Dollar Tree, pick up a couple things, and maybe some party plates for the cake and ice cream tomorrow night, and get some balloons, like two, three balloons, that's all. Something that says, happy birthday. She loves yellow flowers, so maybe I could find some kind of daisy thing, I don't know. We'll see. She needs some balloons. She doesn't have to take them home if she doesn't want to the next day, you know, that's fine. They're Dollar Tree balloons. So, and I'm gonna shop around and see what they have. Because why not? I think I've already talked about everything there is to talk about. If I missed anything that I normally mention, let me know in the comments below. I don't know. I have to tell you, I've really, really, really been enjoying using my Happy Planner. I am in it every day between the calendar section and the, the wellness section where I'm tracking all my food. I am just in it all the time. Even if I eat something I shouldn't have because I've gone over points, I still uh, track it in my wellness planner. And I'm very specific. I break down my sandwich, the bread, the mayonnaise, the meat, the cheese, the condiment, the fruit I had on the side, everything. I don't do that in the mobile app. I just do a quick ad, you know, sandwich, three points, that's it. So I'm much preferring the paper. A boy on a scooter. It is freezing outside and he's got a winter coat uh, with a hood attached and the hood is on his head and the rest of the coat is just dangling behind him just like a kid. So anyway I'm really loving my happy planner and all my accessories. I can't get enough of them. I can't get enough of those stickers. The happy planner stickers uh, from me and my big ideas which they call Mambi. M-A-M-B-I. It's just amazing and I should hopefully by the end of the year have a really cool um, can I go can I go can I go yes a really cool haul for you um, from me and my big ideas I'm super excited about it oh, I can't wait and, and not not it doesn't have anything to do with Christmas Chrissy already knows what I want for Christmas as far as happy planner accessories are concerned so Hopefully I'll get some from Chrissy. Ew, dead squirrel. Are you turning? Cause okay, I'm just gonna go around you. All oh, right, cause you're in my way. See, I'm I'm getting hangry, obviously, because everybody's bothering me. You're bothering me. You're bothering me. That kid that didn't have his coat on is bothering me. You guys, you're okay where you're at. You're fine. But clearly, I'm hungry. So I'm hangry. And oh, I, all right, I did put the dogs back in the cage. All right, I'm doing good, doing good. Yeah, okay. So wasn't that funny this morning with Gracie Lou being stuck in the kitchen? She hasn't gotten stuck in the kitchen in a long time. So I don't know what her deal. All right, enough rambling because this is a really long, vlog and I know some of you don't mind because you like to go for rides with me and you miss me when I'm not around there's another Christmas tree on a car I love to see that uh, so I appreciate that and I appreciate you and I'm glad you like to go for a ride with me but I gotta go because I really can't take any more of your time I gotta go look for balloons and something for lunch something good on TV that I could fall asleep to. Maybe a stupid Christmas movie or something. Okay. Until I see you again, have a very blessed rest of your weekend and uh, enjoy all of your Christmas festivities this next week. Whatever you're doing, parties, decorations, gift wrapping. Oh, I gotta wrap my mother's birthday present for tomorrow. Oi! Oi, oi. All right, wait, wait till I turn. Okay, then I'll say goodbye. Okay, I turned, wait. These people, they don't wait. All right, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, be blessed, bye-bye.